what is up my crazy scar this is Joe King John City for today I'll be teaching you how to set up the uh, Weevo best class setup now this class setup is gonna help you guys out in the latest you know patches and the updates of the uh, SMG division because a lot of the SMGs got toned down they were uh, pretty much nerfed like especially the Vesper and uh, several other SMGs so uh, the latest you know weapon that's actually good in the SMG division is been the Weevo for me You know, I've been getting tons of kills, over 40 kills per gameplay, and uh, I've been raising my KD a little bit more. I'm telling you, I went from 1.84 KD to 1.86, so I'm actually going up higher. And yes, it's taking me quite a bit to you know, increase my KD, but at the same time, you know, I'm getting a lot of kills in between. My KD is raising up, which means I'm doing good, and you know, I'm dying like one third of the time. So, um, overall, this weapon I'm telling you is a great all around weapon short range medium range a little bit of long range just depending on the situation but you really gotta be you know standing still and uh, aim from long range and that's the way you can still get some kills with long range with this weapon I said you can use it on all the maps by the way it's, it's not only like short maps or medium sized maps it's even large maps you can sneak around behind the enemies and flank them and uh, the Weevil will, will do the job for you so Let's start with the attachments so you guys can know, you know, why I have some certain attachments. First attachment we're going to be adding is the suppressor. Now the suppressor is going to allow you to actually sneak around with no problem. Uh, you know, take take down some certain enemies with stealth kills and, you know, a lot of a lot of times, you know, when you take down enemies with a silencer, you're pretty much not going to be detected of, on where you are or where the bullets are coming from. So it is very important to have the suppressor. Sometimes you don't need the suppressor. You might want to add, like, uh, you know, some of the attachments that's going to help you out, guys out, but I suggest to add the suppressor if you want to you know get some chain kills without getting detected moving on to the next attachment which will be the long barrel the long barrel is actually going to help you guys out on getting you know those medium range kills and a little bit of the long range kills without this you're not going to be able to do anything <laughs> pretty much the weevil does not have that kind of damage to actually you know take down take down a certain enemy with no range so let's check out the stats as you can see the, the stats is standing on three damage and um that's a big concern right there so you must have long barrel in order for you to take down some enemies with a weevil because without it you're pretty much just a sitting duck and that's not good you know you gotta take down people from short range and that's not how it works you gotta be an all-around person when it comes down to every single battle Moving on to the next attachment, which will be the rapid fire. Uh, the rapid fire will allow you to take down the enemies a lot quicker. Without it, it's still kind of questionable. You know, you can have it, you cannot have it, and you know, you can switch around so you guys can test it out. But usually with me, you know, I want it to be quick. I want it to be, you know, right away the kill because without it i'm just feeling like i'm taking my time killing you know if i take my time you never know they have another enemy behind them and you know just shooting slowly is just gonna you know co cost me like a little bit of a you know I I'm, not, I'm not patient with my kills i want it to be quick i always want to create those chain kills and you know without the rapid fire that's not gonna happen so i gotta add the rapid fire if i want to like to work from short range because I know without it short range also is getting thrown out the table because you have a silencer and then you know just creates a big you know ball of problems so that's why I have the rapid fire kill uh, the rapid fire attachment so you guys can kill from short range and the long barrel so you can kill from medium range and the silencer so you can get some stealthy kills from behind and from flanks you know so you won't get detected and you know having those with uh, uh, have, not having long range or rapid fire you know just everything just get thrown out the table and you're pretty much sitting on the on a gambling gun so uh, those are the attachments of the Weevil. The Weevil kind of reminds me of my P90 from Modern Warfare 3. I have a lot of stories about Modern Warfare 3 with my P90 and it's super similar to this one because once I got into the field and I was getting kills like crazy and I was like, damn, I'm having flashbacks from Modern Warfare 3 and the P90, you know, back in the day, I went like over 90,000 kills and with a KD of 1.96 and you know just bringing this kind of memories back with the weevil i'm like yes i'm gonna achieve a lot more with the weevil so uh the other things also the lethal and the tactical and the perks you can have whatever you want but i am currently using the trip mine shock charge ghost scavenger and blast suppressor so i won't get detected you know that's why there's ghost right there and blast suppressor scavenger because i'm always you know shooting around and getting a lot of kills all the time i need the scavenger so i can refill my goddamn weapon and also my lethal and tactical they get they get uh refilled 
it. So that's why I have all these perks also in, in Ghost, you know, so I can won't get detected. So that is it, guys. That is the best class setup. Hopefully, it'll help you guys out in the battlefield. I I did put some short clips here in this video so you guys can see, you know, some examples on how I use this gun. And it's super quick. You know, you gotta be quick. You gotta be, you know, flanking the enemy most of the time. You cannot take out the enemy head to head with this weapon. I suggest to go flanking because I try to know head to head. You know, you pretty much lose the battles like one three of the time. So one third of the time and um i suggest to go flank the enemy most of the time with this weapon because it's not going to happen with 1v1 situations so um so yeah that is it if you guys want to see more black ops 3 multiplayer gameplay and also more tips and strategies make sure to subscribe for more